Some people who support the so-called smaller parties feel there's no point voting. That's because those parties rarely win seats, even though they may get thousands of votes. But as Amanda Pfeffer reports, there is a push on in many parts of Canada to try to make everyone's vote count. This is grassroots democracy sprouting up on a Toronto downtown street, and they're calling for, well, more democracy. Canadians still yearn for democracy. They haven't yet put their finger on the fact that using a bad voting system is at the heart of a lot of the problems that, uh, that, uh, that we have. A bad voting system, he says, because right now only candidates who win the most votes in their riding go to Ottawa. He's calling for a national referendum for a new system of voting called proportional representation. And it may work like this. If you vote for the Green Party, it doesn't matter if the Green candidate in your riding does not win. That's because your vote is counted along with Green votes across the country. So if, say, 10% of Canadians vote Green, then that could result in a corresponding share of seats in the House of Commons. Would you like to make your vote count more effectively? Now there's growing support for change. A lot of the uh, electoral areas in the city aren't very represented. Uh, properly. It has its scary aspects to it I, I, and I understand that this, this uh, rep proportional representation has some advantages. But now the push for change is more than just talk. In British Columbia, a citizens assembly is working on a referendum question to reform the voting system and they're not alone. Governments in Ontario and PEI have also promised to hold referendums on this issue. <laughs> In Quebec, a new government promised to table legislation by this spring, but already a delay. Those discussions are not over yet. They are go going to be held uh, within the next months. There, there is an inherent conflict of interest there from the political perspective. Patrick Dow says citizens can't wait for change from politicians who benefit from the current system. He and several other Quebecers have decided to try the courts instead. They've launched a constitutional challenge against Quebec's voting law. Still, analysts suggest proportional representation comes with its own set of problems. In PR systems, you generally often have minority governments, you generally have coalition governments, you have governments that don't necessarily last as long as a majority, of stable majority government. Uh, we don't think that it uh, properly uh, reflects Canadians' values. Still, grassroots groups are convinced proportional representation is more democratic, and they'll work to convince Canadians, one voter at a time. Canada, Canada make everybody's vote count. Amanda Pfeffer, CBC News, Montreal.